you have microplastics floating around in your brain right now. In fact, there could be so many microplastic particles in an adult human brain that it actually makes up the weight of a plastic spoon. While microplastics are everywhere in our bodies, a new study from scientists at the University of New Mexico found that our brain can actually hold up to 30 times more microplastics than other organs in our bodies, like our liver or kidneys. And to get even more grim, there's evidence to suggest that increase in microplastics in our brains has been correlated with incidences of dementia. So how do these plastics get into our heads? Well, it all starts with with what we eat and drink and studies show that when it ends up in our gut it starts to migrate out into other organs like our livers kidneys and of course our brains and there's a couple theories on why it's collecting more in our brains for instance there's higher blood flow and it doesn't have the ability to flush toxins like other organs in our bodies do but the story doesn't have to be completely grim. While we do live in an increasingly plastic world, there's a lot of things that we can do to reduce our exposure. For instance, using a good water filter, use glass or stainless steel food containers instead of plastic ones, choose to use a reusable water bottle instead of a plastic one, reduce cling wrap use, don't heat up food in plastic, and of course switching your chopping board are all ways to cut down on the amount of plastic we introduce into our bodies and ultimately our brain. So what do you do to reduce microplastics in your life? Let us know in the comments down below.